Thinking about moving to Sausalito, California, but you want to know more about it? In this video, I am going to take you on a downtown tour of Sausalito, and you're going to learn a lot of stuff you didn't know about Sausalito. So let's get to it. I cannot do this video without these sunglasses because it is super bright out here. It is a very, very sunny day. Stay tuned to the end of this video for some links to information about topics that you'll see in today's video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're thinking about moving to Marin or Sausalito in 10 days or 10 months, I love helping people just like you make a smooth, smart move to Marin. Just call, text, or email me. My contact information is in the show more below. Okay, so we're starting this tour at the far end of Bridgeway in Sausalito, not too far from a little park called Tiffany Park. And we're gonna walk down this path, which goes all the way to the end of Sausalito. As you can see here, we're now taking a little panoramic view from Sausalito. You see San Francisco in the background there. You see the Bay Bridge and Treasure Island way in the distance. And now we are coming up on Angel Island, looking quite big right on over to this restaurant called the trident that sits on bridgeway in sausalito has amazing views as you can tell also on dean now we're taking a little walk with my doggy baxter more of on dean restaurant which has this amazing view maybe not so much the wood below us but certainly san francisco in the background this is bridgeway usually a really busy street here in sausalito doesn't look that busy right now As you can see, there actually are lots of cute shops here. And this is a little restaurant called Scomas. There are so many restaurants in Sausalito and tons of them have these amazing views. That first building on the right hand side over here, that is called Barrel House and they have seating that looks at that view. It's pretty amazing. And now we're gonna continue our walk down Bridgeway in Sausalito. And we're gonna see a lot of little shops on the sides. Here's an interesting storefront dedicated to Christmas tree decorations. And it's the middle of April. If you're enjoying this video, remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification about when I drop another video, which is about once a week. I'm going to take a little right here on this street called El Portel because there's a couple things I want you to see down here. For one, there is a hotel here called In Above Tides. Their rooms are all off the back side and they overlook this amazing view. You can hear the water splashing up and everything from those rooms, you'd love it. And there is the ferry, the Sausalito Ferry. That's where you would get on to go to San Francisco. Ice cream. There's always people eating ice cream in Sausalito, even on cold days. And chocolate. You gotta have chocolate. Okay, so now we are coming up on the elephant statue at the Viña del Mar Plaza in Sausalito. This is a 14-foot elephant statue. There are two of them. One's named Jumbo and one named Pee Wee. There were originally 12 of these elephants and they were at the 1915 Pan Pacific International Exposition that was in San Francisco. The building's architect that had these elephants, his hometown was Sausalito, and he arranged for these two to be shipped to Sausalito after the fair. In 1935, they were permanently bound in concrete. Right behind those two elephants is this 
whimsical fountain with all the laughing faces around it. This park, by the way, is the most photographed little park in Sausalito, not surprising. And by the way, this usually looks a lot better because we're not in a drought and there's water running in it, but no water today. And like the elephants, this also was used at the Pan Pacific International Exposition in San Francisco. It was originally made out of paper mache and then made permanent with the concrete. And now I am headed right down Bridgeway and I'm going to take a little right up here in a couple of moments. After I slow down for this. And now the right is gonna be on Anchor Street. Heading down here because this is the location of the Sausalito Yacht Club. And interestingly enough, this restaurant coming up here the Spinnaker, it's way down that street. I always thought it was a private restaurant like for the club, but it's not. And here's a nice little park called Gabrielson Park. Nice place to hang out with a great view. And now I am headed back to the Main Street Bridgeway. This little white building coming up is the Sausalito Visitor Center and also a museum. It's called the Ice House and the reason is it actually was a cold cargo storage on the Northwestern Pacific freight trains. By the 1920s, it was used as an ice box for local people here in Sausalito. And by the 1980s, it was an architectural office and then donated to the city where it now serves as the Visitor Center. And now I'm gonna start my little trek back down where I was coming from on Bridgeway. I'll mostly concentrate on the restaurants and stores that are on the other side of the street now. And that is the Poggio Trocadoria restaurant and beside it, Casa Madrona Hotel and Spa. If you're needing some extra exercise, try these stairs. They go all the way up to Bulkley Avenue, And here's a fun place. It's apparently called the bar with no name, although everyone here just calls it no name bar. And if you'd like some additional information about Sausalito, add a comment below and ask me for the Sausalito information. And that concludes our tour of Sausalito. I hope it was helpful.